Hello everyone, welcome to day 25 of the How Not to Die Challenge. So I am making something that I found off the internet. I've been wanting to use, I've got some uh, V8. Dr. Greger has a recipe in his cookbook for how to make a V8 juice, but it's not V8, I think it was V12 blast or something like that. Anyways, um, it looked like a lot of work. And um, if you get the low sodium V8, it actually has about the same amount of sodium in it as the low sodium um, like veggie broths and stuff. It's got 140 milligrams per eight ounces. So I am going to use this. Um, so I was looking for a couple of recipes um, and I found two different recipes, both of which look really, really good. So I'm going to try it. Um, the other recipe takes like an hour and a half to just cook time and um, plus all the chopping of vegetables and all that kind of stuff. So that's gonna be something I do on a day off um, towards the end of the challenge. Of course it is towards the end of the challenge, more end of the challenge. And this one really isn't that much work. Um, it's a little bit of prep work and then you gotta let it cook for a little while on the stove, but it's not super, super long. So basically it's called V8 Chicken Italiano. Um, we're gonna take the chicken part out of there. Um, but if you want to, you could use chicken. I'm using the soy curls. Um, so basically, I don't have this measured out, but there's some soy curls in there. And they've already, I'm throwing them on the counter. And they have already been um, soaked in water so they're nice and soft. And so what you would do is you're supposed to take two pounds of chicken and then a cup and a half of flour, which seems kind of like a lot of flour for two pounds of chicken. I remember cooking chicken. I remember breading chicken. I don't remember thinking that you needed a cup and a half of flour. But anyways, I'm going to put some flour on here. We have a gluten-free um, all-purpose flour that we use. So I'm just going to use a spoon and put some in here and then just shake it around a little bit. And then I'll put a little bit more. So, I don't know. At most, a half of a cup, probably, probably about a third of a cup, really. So then it looks like that. Um, I really debated putting the seasonings in here as well at this point, because it would make sense to me to get the seasonings on the bre in the breading and stuff. I'm so itchy, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it the way that they do it and put the seasonings in. There's not very many seasonings, let me tell you. But put them in with the sauce when you make it and just, I'm gonna make it the way the recipe says. But to me, it would make sense to put the seasonings and get it stuck on here. But anyways, so you take this and you're supposed to cook this. You're supposed to heat up pan on the stove with oil in it and then you're supposed to fry the little chicken pieces in there until they get nice and browned on all sides. So I'm going to go ahead and use my nonstick pan and I'm going to get it nice and hot and then put this in there and saute it ish. Uh, we'll see how that works out. I'm not, I've never done that before with these. Um, so we're going to give that a shot and see what happens and see if we can get a little bit of browning action going on or not. I'm, I'm not really sure if we're going to or not, but I'm going to do that and then take it off the stove. Oh, you're supposed to drain off any chicken fat and then to put the chicken back in the pan. So we won't be needing to drain anything. And then you're supposed to put in your ingredients after that. So basically you have two cups of your V8 juice. You have um, one teaspoon of dried oregano, two cloves of garlic, and then it calls for a medium green pepper and a medium onion chopped and then some pasta. So I actually have two peppers chopped up and a red onion and those, that's my little junk pile for the freezer. Um, so that's what I'm going to use. And I was thinking that, originally I was thinking that I would put um, maybe some, like a can of beans in there or something and also um, some cruciferous of some sort. So I'm not sure about the cruciferous at this point, but I'm definitely going to put in like some white beans. I think that that will taste just fine. I don't think it's gonna adjust the flavor at all. Um, so I'm gonna put in one can of white beans. And then I was thinking about, oh gosh, how do I get greens in my diet? So I'm just gonna have a smoothie. I'm gonna have some berries and some mango and some orange juice and some spinach. And so I'll get all of my greens in, I'll get a serving of berries and a serving of fruit and put some flax in there. That'll work out well. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I already have some brown rice pasta, like little um, spirals made up. So those are ready to go. So I'm just gonna go and try and see how this works out. Once you put everything in the pan, you're supposed to cover it and let it cook. Um, for, it says for 30 minutes until the chicken is cooked through. Uh, yeah, obviously, it's like girls, I don't have an issue with them being cooked through. So I'm actually going to just wait until the onions and the peppers are cooked through, which I don't think will take 30 minutes. So I will be back with you when that process is done and I'll let you know how long it took. But with the flour on the soy curls being in the pot with the juice, I think that it will get thick. 
um, ish. I'm not 100% sure, but it should thicken up a little bit as you boil it. So anyways, that's the process, that's the plan, and that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm not planning on adding any other seasonings or anything to it, but if it's really, really, really gooey, you could definitely add your tablespoon of flax to this, and it would help thicken it up too. So that's an option as well. I'm gonna go give this a shot, and I will be back with you guys in just a little while to let you know how it's working out. All right, so this looks super, super delicious. I kind of felt like I was making vegan hamburger helper, like honestly, because this really strikes me as being that because you kind of cheat with the V8 juice. So anyways, this is really, really, really nice looking. It thickened up really well. I cooked it for 15 minutes. Um, at Towards the last probably like six or seven minutes, I did mix it several times. I had it covered, but I would take the, the lid off and mix it a few times. Um, it thickened up beautifully. I mean, you can see that there's no, it's not like running off of there or anything. Um, I did put in a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric and a splash of like just a ch -ch -ch of black pepper. Um, figured I could get my spices in very, very easily that way, and that would be a good thing. So, I have not tried it. Thought I would give it a shot. I did put a little bit of parsley on top of it to make it look a little bit um, prettier, because you were supposed to use a green pepper rather than a yellow pepper, but I don't have a green pepper. So, neighbor's doing his yard at like 7.30 at night. Whatever. Hang on a second. I'm going to take just some of the topping stuff. Oh, hot. I think I like it. <laughs> Is that really bad that I can't tell? I think part of it is that it's very low in sodium, which normally when you have something like this, it would be very high in sodium. Um, Cause it'd be like a boxed type thing. Yeah, it's good. It is good. Um, let me have this for supper tonight at work, and I will tell you in the morning whether this is something that you should definitely make or just, eh, it's okay. Um, but yeah, I think it's good. It's got the beans in there. I've got some whole grain pasta under it, which is brown rice pasta, and it's got some vegetables in it, and it's got my turmeric in there and black pepper, and uh, yeah, it's got everything you need in a day. Not quite. Um, I'm going to go put this in a container to go after I have another bite, <laughs> and I'm going to make a smoothie to take with me and yeah i need to get going to go to work so i will talk to you guys again later and i'll let you know if this was beyond awesome or if it was just okay bye guys hmm. okay guys so i am home um let's talk about food so the v8 soy curl uh, italiano was actually fairly good um i forgot to mention last night it came from genius kitchen from a chef called mary maria jane i think anyways it wasn't bad at all. It was pretty good. I think it probably could have used a little more spices here or there, like just more Italian-y type flavor to it, because uh, I think that was supposed to be the point. Um, but it was good. I would definitely say try it and make it your own, um, whether you like things. It was very hamburger helper-ish to me in terms of how you put it together, very much so. So I would say make it your own. If you want to have it be a little bit spicier, like get some, maybe some, I was going to say chilies, but those for most people are probably not very spicy. <laughs> get some hotter peppery type thing going on. Um, you could definitely change that up and make it into whatever kind of flavor it is you're looking for. That's a great, great way to start something. Um, like if you want to make it more Mexican flavored, you'd put those flavors in an addition and then maybe put some corn in there. That'd be good. So anyways, that was good. I would try it. My husband tried it. He actually said he liked it more. He actually said it was good and it was better than he thought it would be because he really, really, really hates V8. Like he really doesn't like V8. Um, so he, he actually thought it tasted good. So that was awesome. Um, yeah, so food. And then got bit by a mosquito last night. And, um, you know, usually no big deal. But my hand got swollen and red and just funky um, from it. I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah, you can probably see that. Like down here and around here and here. The mosquito bite's like right up here. But my hand is like really, really puffy. 
Um, yeah, isn't that crazy? You see that? I don't know. Heck of a mosquito. Um, but like it just started as a tiny little bit red and it just spread across my hand. And one of the pharmacists was like, are you sure this is not a spider bite? And I was like, well, there was a mosquito in my truck and I now have a bite. I'm going to go with this as a mosquito bite. You never know. But anyways, so my hand is very sore. I just got done doing some dishes and my hand is now kind of achy. It holds, it hurts to hold stuff like right here. It, gripping stuff kind of hurts. So anyways, very crazy. So tonight... I am going to make a black bean burger recipe from his cookbook. I'm very excited about this. So you guys stay tuned and come back for that tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again very soon. So we'll talk to you later. Bye guys. Oh, I'm going to go exercise. By the way, I'm going to go upstairs and ride the bike. I'm not going to eat anymore because I'm not hungry at all. And that's going to be the end of my day. So that's it. <laughs>